Harry? I was about to head off. I thought I ought to wait a little longer. Thanks. You okay? Any luck with the phone? They didn't make any sense. I need to go there. The Simmons Street address? That's the other side of town. You got a car? I was planning on getting a ride with John. There's my boss's SUV. Yeah, I'm looking after it while she's on vacation. It's at the club where I work, not far from here. I could give you a lift. Oh, that would be great. Lead the way. You want my jacket? You're going to freeze. <laughs> I'm used to running around in a dress. I'm too hot bloody to feel the cold. I feel bad, you're sure? Yeah, keep it. You're the car crash guy. You're thinking about your daughter? Constantly. I'm sure she's okay. I can't get my head around it. She was in the back sleeping, then the crash. She was gone. Your head is still jumbled up, Harry. Just give it a while, okay? You should go see a doctor. I'll make sure Cheryl is safe, then worry about myself. Massachusetts? Yeah. Well, not Massachusetts so much, but I want to be with John. And John? Well, he wants it too. It's, it's just hard. We've been together for five years, but we never lived together. And now we're out in the world, living our lives. John's a lucky guy. He's probably just lousy at showing it. I know lawyers. They're not so touchy-feely. Oh, John's not like that. Back in school, he was very passionate. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. You believe that? Absolutely. Can I see some ID? Over 21 zone. Sorry, mine was taken by a cop. <laughs> really? How come? I'm not sure she trusts me. Well, I'll let you in just this once, but first sign of trouble. The Balkan. Last time I was in a nightclub was for my... I need to answer this. The keys are in my room upstairs. Run up and grab them. John? Where have you been? I guess I can let you off the hook then. But you're gonna have to make it up to me. Uh-huh. Oh, that was Harry. He's a friend. Yes.
Got the keys. I just need to finish my drink. Take a seat. I need something to warm me up in this weather. Things go okay with John? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna come meet me here once I've dropped you off. This weather, such a pain. Oh, I should have offered you a drink. No, oh, no, it's fine. I'm confused enough as it is. I just want to get going, but today behind me. Hey, everything's gonna be fine, you know? We'll be there soon, and, and then you can see your wife and daughter and... Wife? You're married, aren't you? You're wearing a ring. You okay? No, I feel a bit lightheaded. I gotta go clear my head. Michelle? Who the hell is Michelle? Just practicing my signature. We ready to go? Where's Michelle? Funny. Come on, let's get going. I'm going to drive. You, Mr. Harry, are way over the limit. Stop. This is out of control. I came in here with a girl called Michelle. She was going to drive me to Simmons Street. Who are you? Are you on something? I'm Dahlia. Hottest piece of ass you'll ever see in this town. You are Harry Mason. Generally, a fun guy to be with. What are you wearing these for? Stop being a dick and let's get going. We'll get to Simmons Street and see Cheryl. Cheryl? Your daughter? Oh, come on, you're not that wasted. That's why we're in this lousy club. To get the SUV so we can drive up to Simmons Street. That's right, but... It's just... no more craziness. You're freaking me out. Nobody out to play? I thought people liked the snow. Signals are down. We make a pretty sorry pair, huh? What? We're always so wasted. I'm pretty and you're vacant. You think we'd like each other if we ever met sober? I am sober. Well, that would explain you weirding me out. I don't think I am. You're not getting it. I don't know who you are. Maybe it was the car accident. I don't know. You're acting like we know each other, and I've never seen you before in my life. Seriously? You are screwed up. It's scary. I, I feel like I remember everything. But there's you, my daughter, things that don't fit. And I think I'm seeing things. Do you like what you see? Sorry? If I'm a stranger to you, what kind? You think I'm hot? You're young. <laughs> oh boy, Harry. You're really messed up. Is up. What can we do? Run up to the control room. See if you can get it moving. <sighs> okay. Look, don't flip out on me. No forgetting what you're doing and wandering off. Hey, I got it. I'll be waiting. Jesus.
Mr. Capra? My name is Harry Mason. I need to lower the bridge. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. I've been in a car accident. My daughter needs my help. I... I just... Yes. Hello? Problem with me, but you're too chicken shit to come out and say it? That's low. It's pathetic. Have some self respect. I'm not making this up. I'm not. Just drive. Dahlia, listen. I'm not going to sit here and have you screw around with me. I don't need the hassle. 
Dolly! Dolly! Nasty, but inevitable. Everyone is going to die, even if we like to pretend otherwise. You could die tonight, in your sleep. Why doesn't that terrify you? How would you like to die? No, wait, let me guess. You'd want to die surrounded by family. It's academic, really, as we're only truly conscious of death when it happens to others. Get to my age, you'll have seen plenty of people die. There, one minute, then, gone. Okay, game time. There are seven pictures of people on the table. Your job is to tell me who is dead and who 
was merely sleeping. Divide them up, left dead, right sleeping. It's just an exercise. There's no right answer. Actually, they were all dead. Okay, let's get back to it. Who's Dahlia? A girl. The car went into the river. She drowned. Another crash? This is a different girl? You must have seen the bridge. We went right off the side. Harry, the bridge has been closed since the storm started. You swam. I could have died of hypothermia. My clothes? You were soaked to the skin. I grabbed what I could find here. We need to talk. When I was at the station, I pulled the file on Harry Mason. So? No! No!
Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. As requested, here's a popular tune, My Love for You. Alcamilla Radio. You're listening to Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top ten list. Keep listening. Alcamilla Radio. It's kind of quiet tonight. If you want to hear a tune, just call 555-881. And for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. Alcamilla. Healing through music. As requested, here's a popular tune, Daddy's Girl. Are you okay? You're not from the hospital. No. I had an accident. That yours? No. Uh, Yes. (laughs) I'm not making any sense, am I? It's okay. Let's get you inside. You need help. I want to go home. I have medicine and gauze there. I'm a nurse. It's a few blocks north. I just need to rest. I'm headed that way. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm feeling better. (sighs) Don't worry. Head wounds always bleed a lot. 
Lots of blood vessels close to the surface. It's nothing serious. I can clean up back in my place. Lisa. I'm Harry. Harry Houdini. <laughs> Sorry. I'm always saying goofy things that come into my head. It's not far to my apartment. We can jaywalk in this weather. Where did you say you were headed? Uh, home. My daughter went there after our accident. What happened? I crashed my car. I don't know how long I was unconscious, but when I woke up, Cheryl was gone. And she made it all this way? I know it doesn't quite add up. There are things I can't piece together. But she called me. But then I spoke to someone else on the phone. There are times when things don't feel real. I feel like I'm losing my grasp on the truth of it. But other times everything is fine. This feels real. Hey, <laughs> I'm as real as they come. Though, some patients mistake me for an angel. That's the medication. I'm real, and I've got the bags under my eyes to prove it. You been a nurse long? If you add up all the overtime, back-to-back 12-hour -back shifts, compared to a standard 9-to-5, I've been in the hospital for 40 human years. I've slept through half of it. Like tonight, I fell asleep at the wheel. Hell of a wake-up call. Not far now. You still feeling okay? Yeah. Fine. So tell me about your daughter. Cheryl? She's, uh... She's young, bright, happy. <laughs> Likes collecting stuff. You know, bits and pieces. Bugs. She loves bugs. Bugs? Like dirty, creepy bugs? No, no butterflies. Pretty bugs. She has a collection. Dead ones? Yeah. Still creepy. Not really. You seem to see the creepy in everything. Is that a nurse thing or just you? Definitely a nurse thing. We have a unique outlook on life. Whatever happened to Bedside Manor? We still got that. For our special cases. My apartment is just around the corner. Used to belong to the super. It's a lot bigger than the others, but I only pay standard rent. The landlord has a thing for nurses. Grab a seat. I'm just gonna get out of these things. I oughta... Uh-uh, you're not running off yet. Warm up before you head back out there. I haven't thanked you yet. Five minutes, come on, sit. Sit! Watch some TV if you want. I won't be long. You know, last time I had a guy in my apartment, it was summer. During the heat wave. Now it's winter. Freaky early, but still. Time flies. You know, you're a nice guy, Harry. Thanks. I feel safe around you. You okay? <sighs> Headache. Be a hero. Fetch me some pills from the bathroom. Check the cabinet. Get me some yellow ones. Sure.
Thanks. Water? No, fine. Self-medication. <laughs> the one true perk of the healthcare profession. It's not just coffee that keeps us going 24-7. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sleep now. You let yourself out. You feel guilty about everything. When we all lived in huts and wore furs, we worried over the simple things. Food, water, whether animals would come and eat us in the night. Now we have supermarkets, bottled water, and 38 caliber home security. So what keeps us awake at night? More often than not, guilt. If only I had acted differently. If only I hadn't said that. If only I'd said something. You beat yourself up with your past. Don't blame yourself. Blame the world. Blame God. Blame me. Okay, this is my favorite. Let me introduce some friends of mine. This is King Harold. His daughter, the chaste Celestine. A prince called Wilhelm and a bull. He doesn't have a name. Prince Wilhelm is passionately in love with Celestine, but she does not love him. One day, Wilhelm comes to the king and asks for Celestine's hand in marriage. Celestine begs the king not to marry her to Wilhelm, but the king ignores her pleas. Royal protocol means he must say yes to the match. They are married, and Wilhelm takes Celestine back with him to his kingdom. That night, he attempts to consummate the marriage, but the distraught Celestine flees. She runs from the safety of the castle and across a field, ignoring the sign which warns of danger. In that field is a bull, who, seeing the girl, charges her. She falls under his hooves and is killed instantly. What I want you to do is line the players up according to how guilty they are of Celestine's death. Whose fault was it? At the left, most culpable. To the right, most innocent. You want to hear that again? Done? Poor Bull. You couldn't ignore the facts. He was the one who killed her. I find the best cure for guilt is to never get caught in the first place. Let's continue.
Lisa? What's wrong? Try to stay calm, Lisa. I'm coming. Lisa? No! no! Don't move. No. This isn't what... I said don't move. Stand up and step away from the girl. This isn't what it looks like. Stop talking. What have you done? She was in an accident. I didn't do this. Accident? Shut the hell up. You've been feeding me bullshit all night. You bastard. I didn't... Shut up! I know you're not Harry Mason!
racing. For a car, sure. Every little girl's dream.
Yeah. I'm glad. I'm... I'm okay. On my way to Simmons Street. Michelle, what happened at the club? What... Uh... Michelle?
that you? You've been gone for so long, I started to worry. Sweetie? Hello. You here for my daughter? Harry? How do you know me? Where's Cheryl? Still at the lighthouse, maybe. Lighthouse? What are you doing here, Harry? Looking for Cheryl. Isn't this my house? Who are you? You look really good. Who are you? We're soulmates, you and I. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. You're my wife? <laughs> Thank you. 
Cheryl, this is your room, but you're not in it. You know, I think we're getting somewhere. We're all tied up in this marriage thing. Marriage worked a lot better when we didn't live so long. We have phrases like the honeymoon is over to remind us how quickly marriage is sour. You think I'm being cynical? Divorce does that to you. Come on, you think marriage can really last? Should a couple stay together for the kids? Do you think it's a bad idea to marry young? You think sex becomes stale after marriage? You know what? You being such an expert on marriage, you're going to ace my matchmaker test. On the table are six pictures. All you have to do is sort them into three married couples. All finished. Okay, now tell me which of those couples are still together. <laughs> I'm joking. You know I'm just trying to provoke you, right? Oh, let's keep going. We're really making progress here. Harry? Harry? Were you dreaming? Are you okay? What are you doing here? This place is... Your home, right? I saw the photos of you in the corridor, you and your family. Cheryl isn't here. I'm sorry. The woman said Cheryl was at the lighthouse. The lighthouse closed down years ago. Now I need to go there. John and I can drive you there. We'll take the lake road. Thank you.
Harry, this is John. John, Harry. Hey, Michelle says you kept her company earlier when I was late. Thanks. Good to meet you. Nice car you got, John. I always wanted one of these. But when Cheryl was born, we graduated to the family car club. Trunk space wins out over engine size. I'd swap the car for a family any day. Though I'm happy enough with just John for now. Cut it out, Michelle. Huh? It's embarrassing. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. Don't mind me. This isn't how I wanted things to go. It's not Harry's fault. I Nothing mean... Nothing to do with Harry. I mean this. Us. I wanted to make things clear. I wanted to do things right. What are you saying? This reunion, this weekend. I wanted to come see you to talk things through. Talk? About our relationship? Michelle, there is no relationship. Please, don't do this. Not now, Jeff. If not now, when? Where? Christ, Michelle, I've been trying to do this for months, but you don't want to hear it. Now we have a witness, maybe you'll listen. You're just tired. You're not thinking right. It's been too long since we've been together. No. No, Michelle. I was hoping to do this right, but I need to do it. We've been running on empty for a long time. Living on fumes. It isn't a relationship, it's a courtesy. If I still love you, it can't be over. It is. You don't love me. You love the John in your head. Please. I can't listen to this. I can't do this anymore. 